Hi, it's Alec Kerr, the film critic for the Conway Daily Sun, with my thoughts on the 81st Annual Academy Awards. Now, I just want to focus in on the ceremony itself. I will be writing an article that will get into at greater length some of the highlights of this year's ceremony, but I just want to look at the presentation for the time being. And as usual, it is far too long. This year, clocking in at 3 hours and 25 minutes, or 4 hours if you include the red carpet. Now, if the producers of the Academy Awards want to get higher ratings, they're going to have to find a way to cut that down. At least get it below three hours. And the first thing that needs to go are the clip shows. Those little montages of scenes from movies from film history and of the previous year and of acceptance speeches from previous years that are mildly entertaining and mildly interesting at the start of the show. But once you're getting to the two hour, two and a half hour mark, they're just annoying, and all you're thinking of is, geez, when do I get to the next award? It's not like you're going, hey, honey, check it out. It's a montage of the best action movies of 2008. Can't wait to tell the guys about this at the water cooler. No! That's not gonna happen. But what will be discussed at the water cooler are these great song and dance routines that were put together for this year's ceremony. The show starts out with a bang with host Hugh Jackman showing off his Broadway chops because, yes, he has been on Broadway, and he does this great song and dance routine where he takes re where he does reenactments of the five nominated films for Best Picture, in, and as well as The Dark Knight, which I guess is the Academy's way of saying this should have been number six nominee for Best Picture, and uh, has these great cheeky lyrics. And, you know, Billy Crystal has done this before in previous years when he hosted, but this is kind of taken it to another level. It does have more of a Broadway feel to it. And you have these great cheeky lyrics like, I've ironed all my men and I've frosted my Nixon. And Anne Hathaway gets, uh, gets to participate a little bit. And, uh, and then about halfway through the show, we get another one. And it's kind of a tribute to the, uh, the movie musical with um, a medley of songs ranging from Sound of Music to Grease to even High School Musical 3. And uh, Beyonce Knowles comes out and uh, helps out Hugh Jackman and a couple of the kids from, from High School Musical. And it's, uh, it's just fun and it's just the kind of spectacle that the Oscars really needs. Uh, because, yes, award, 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 award would become kind of dry and it does need something to kind of pat it out to make it more of an entertainment and more of a presentation. The clip shows do not do that. The one clip show that is necessary is the... Uh, in memory of uh, the people who died in the past year. And every year that's very special. And uh, this year they kind of took it up another notch and had Queen Latifah sing live. And that made it very nice. Um, they did kind of botch it a little bit because uh, they didn't zoom in to uh, show Hugh, uh, Heath Ledger's uh, picture. And uh, so they kind of botched that. But beyond that, that was nice. But these, you know, needless filler montages don't add anything. So what I think they need to do is, and I think they're going in the right direction, they need more spectacle. And so that's where I think they should do in the future. Um, I think Hugh Jackman was a good host. I think he was held back a little bit, maybe a little restrained. Uh, they didn't let him have enough one-liners, little zingers like they did with, uh, you know, like Billy Crystal or Steve Martin or Chris Rock or Ellen DeGeneres. Or there's more broadly comedic um, hosts. Uh, and uh, I know that Hugh Jackman does have a sharp sense of humor just based upon seeing him in talk shows. And I think he was held back a little bit. I'd like to see him be brought back for a second time and see it, what would happen. I, I think there's another level this could be taken to. And uh, so, kind of a mixed bag. They need to find a way to cut it down, need to make it more of an entertainment, more of a show. Um, and uh, so, as I said, I will get into my highlights uh, from the Academy Awards in the article that will be appearing in the Conway Daily Sun, February 27th. Um, and this is Alec, and keep watching.